All right, the bridge from the mount. Um, a lot of creative ways to think about teaching this. Uh, the main thing is you got to have them work on their bridge, but you know, just the, the main things is like, you know, I have to have their shoulders forward. So in any situation where I've got their shoulders in front of their hips, the bridge is a possibility. If they're not in front of my hips, I can always use that leg behind where I'm putting my thigh right, right into their like tailbone and pushing them forward, okay? From there, I just need to get an arm inside our bodies. Our, the arm's gotta get inside our bodies, feet get close to the butt, and I'm bridging them straight up, okay? In my opinion, the key to the bridge is all about the solo work that you do, making sure they actually can do the hydraulic press proper bridge. So to do it, what you want, this is what I say all the time, get the feet as close to the butt as possible. But none of this type of stuff, okay? We don't want them doing that because they'll be so slow that their partner will know what they're gonna do. So one movement, my feet get close to the butt. Hips turn, hips are gonna go as high as they can. My goal is to get them over one of my shoulders. And I flop, and I call it bridge to win, okay? So, you know, you, you need to have this in the warm-ups, bridge to win, okay? It's not pretty looking, but they need that. They, they, their hips have to be going in the right kind of way to be able to bridge them properly. Now, the next step is teaching them a couple ways to trap the arm, okay? One way to trap the arm is, you know, wrist and elbow, and that could be a lot of different grips. I wouldn't get too specific, but getting two hands on one arm, and then they just have to know that they need to bridge in the direction of the arm that they control. And getting the arm inside the body is important. If the arm is outside the body, it can still post, okay? So as long as I have it even a little bit inside the body and I go, I'm gonna be able to get out. Another trap that you can teach them, which is harder for them, is if the person is down, is to come on the inside and go from here and to walk their feet up a little bit to track the elbow to the hip. It's harder for them, for sure, okay? Um, another trap that you can teach them is if the person's hands are down on the mat, this is actually where they have the hardest time bridging typically, is to come, no, no, just you, be here. And I'm gonna go inside the wrist here and bring it behind the back, okay? Oh, really? Okay. So I have to slide that out, bring it behind the back, and I can bridge them over, okay? So I think the main mistakes you're gonna see from here, just again and again, is they don't control any arms, or they're trying to do it while the person's sitting up like this is very hard, impossible, really. I need to bring them down, and then if they don't attack the arms like this, you'll see a lot of this, okay? They just keep pushing into the post. And a lot of times they'll push into the post and just turn around and just give up their back, okay? So, or they get it a little bit, they get, go, 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 and then they just kind of, they just turn over onto their side and give up their back. So I, I really think the key to good bridging with the kids is just, they're gonna struggle to trap the arms, but getting them to bridge up over a shoulder, just again and again and again, lots of solo drilling on that to make sure that they can do it is like critical stuff.